Okay, I'm going to attempt to make this um, hopefully a little bit more clear, the conundrum that I'm, I'm seeing. What I, I, I guess my issue is what I see here is not what's coming out on my uh, protoboard. Uh, here's the, I rearranged the, the uh, probes and everything to symbolize the seven segment display. This is segment A, B, C, and so on, G being in the middle. Up here, that represents which place is being grounded. So in this case, the tens place should be grounded. And by the way, this is an exact copy of the uh, thing that I've downloaded from uh, my PL PLTW. Uh, I did make some modifications on this one, but I've copied this exactly. And they, they, and they work identically too, by the way. Uh, I left out the um, the timer mechanism that we have here. So uh, what I did is I made it so that this just operates on a space bar so I can go back and forth, just like in, in my other videos. So what I've done here is this, this take a look and walk this through here and, and see if I can explain it a little bit more clearly here. I have it hooked up to uh, pin number one. All the rest of this stuff is, is identical. So my multiplexers and everything are all operating as designed, but my outcome here is not what is showing up on my protoboard. Let me explain. So I've got a zero and a one right here. If I toggle between zero and one, you can see it, it works right. When I have a zero here, that goes out. It does its stuff here, 33 and 34 are my output, my pin outputs. You can see that uh, the tins place is then grounded because that's grounded. There's a, just a pass through buffer here. So that passes the ground onto the tins place. So the tins place is what is being grounded. But look down here. Well, first of all, uh, the segments that are illuminated are not the ones that would create a four. And furthermore, in the tins place, I want an eight to, to show up. So my question is, how come it actually works when I upload it. So if I upload it here, let's see if I can get this to work. Oops. Uh, browser. Here we go. If I upload it, it actually does work. And that's great, but I want to be able to explain to students why this works. So let me go back to, to here. here. Um, so it looks like I'm grounding the tens place. And what's showing up here is the opposite of the four. These are what's being lit up is the opposite of four. And then when I toggle this using this space here, now I'm sending through a signal of high. So that grounds this uh, tab or uh, pin 33. That is the ones place. So the ones is being grounded. But look what happens here. Everything goes out. There's there's nothing showing. So. Theoretically, on my protoboard, nothing should show up, and it's it's almost like it's almost like this whole thing is backwards. Uh, and I know, Bob, you said, well, you need to take out your inverters and everything. Well, when I do that, it doesn't work on my protoboard. This actually, when I upload it, this exact one, when I upload it, it actually does work. But according to my schematic, it should not work. It should do the exact opposite of giving an eight and a four. It should be a blank, and then it should be like, you know, like I kept saying, the opposite of four. Here, the, the four, the segments that are, illuminate the four are dim. Here, they're, they're, they're at a low. Now, keep it in mind, my protoboard is, um, does have a common cathode display. So here, uh, when I send through a signal, here I have it marked down here on my slide switch. So I send through a signal, right? What happens is my ones place becomes ground. That's what this represents. I have, I have all sorts of pins here indicating to me, probes essentially. So my ones place is, is a ground. That is uh, spot 33. Okay, so I'm just I'm just jumping off over here. Um, you can see that this is my the, these represent the segments that I'm lighting up here A and B. I did not do EFG, you know, all the way through, you know, all seven segments. This is just A and B. So you look down here, and sure enough, A is low, B is high. 
A is low, B is high. So this actually does work. A is low, B is high when I'm sending through a signal, right? So let's look back here though. When I'm sending through a signal here, I've got A low, B low with the ones place grounded. And when I look here, I've got basically, uh, I've got showing up a four, I've got uh, A low, B high with the ones place grounded, one place grounded, and it shows A and B right here. But that contradicts, it directly contradicts what is given in the schematic. How come this works? This seems like it shouldn't work to me. Um, I hope that makes it a little bit more clear as, as to why I'm, I'm confused about this. I want to be able to explain it to my students, and at this point, uh, it, it just makes absolutely no sense. It's like the ones place should be illuminated, and yet I'm giving ground you know, everywhere to make an eight. If this were a common anode, that would, that would make sense. Uh, but this is a common cathode, and because it's a common cathode, this is the exact opposite of what I was expecting to see in this particular schematic. Um, if you can give me some sort of guidelines or help as to why this is working, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.